Each Sunday, the faithful canine would quietly enter the church, finding his way inside without anyone noticing. At first, the pastor attempted to shoo him away, worried that Tommy's presence would disrupt the serenity of the congregation. But as time went on, Pastor Mulroy couldn't help but notice the devotion in Tommy's eyes. Fixed upon something in the left side aisle, week after week, Tommy would take his usual spot and sit motionless, head tilted down, completely absorbed in his silent vigil. The pastor couldn't fathom what could hold the dog's unwavering attention. Was there a hidden presence? A ghost? Or perhaps something far more profound? The sight of Tommy's intense gaze perplexed the townspeople. Rumors began to spread like wildfire, reaching the far corners of the community. Whispers of the church's mystical secret ignited curiosity and the desire to unravel the enigma that captivated the devoted dog. Meanwhile, Pastor Mulroy found himself increasingly drawn to Tommy's silent plea. He saw a profound purpose in the dog's unwavering dedication. It became clear to him that Tommy had more reason to be there than he did. One Sunday, overcome with determination, the pastor decided to follow the dog. As the congregation chuckled at Tommy's adorable presence, Pastor Mulroy mustered the courage to confront the unknown. He walked towards the dog, hoping to find answers. Unexpectedly, Tommy stood up and turned around, his gaze focused on the pastor. There was a peculiar sense of communication between them. Pastor Mulroy hesitated for a moment, unsure of what lay ahead. But as Tommy glanced around, his unspoken message was clear. Follow me. Curiosity compelled the pastor to embark on a journey guided by the silent cues of the enigmatic dog. They traversed the empty, dark streets, illuminated only by the warm glow of distant houses and street lamps. Together, they arrived at the beginning of an old, dusty road, concealed in a shroud of mystery. Following Tommy's lead, Pastor Mulroy soon found himself standing in front of a long-abandoned house. It was a dilapidated structure, barely clinging to the remnants of its former glory. It was there that the pastor discovered the truth. Tommy's late owner, an elderly woman who had adored her faithful companion, had once called this desolate house her home. Overwhelmed by grief, the dog had sought solace in the only place that reminded him of his beloved mistress, the church.